Hi guys, it's Rebecca Smith with Help for Homeschool. One of the questions I get asked a lot is what curriculum am I using for preschool? A lot of times people are starting out and they want to know what I have done with my three kids who have already been through preschool and my current preschooler who we're just starting to do a little with. So I am here today to share with you some of the things that I have found and loved. Now, I want to start off by saying that preschoolers require very little schooling. You do not have to spend a lot of money or really any money with a preschooler to teach them what they need to know. The biggest thing for preschoolers is to play. Kids learn through play and playing with your preschooler is pretty much going to teach them everything they need to know to go into kindergarten. Spend time with them going to parks, cooking with them, playing with Play-Doh, coloring, doing crafts. I just love preschool age. Honestly, it's my favorite. I love sitting next to them on the couch, cuddled up with a book, reading uh, Blueberries for Sal or a Curious George book. It's just such a magical time. Did you like that one? Let's read another one. Oh, uh, we'll read another one in a minute. I gotta go help everybody else with their school. And really, most kids will pick up what they need to know just from naturally doing life alongside you in your home. So what exactly do preschoolers need to know at this age? I'm gonna give you kind of a general list of things that I try to make sure that my kids know before they enter kindergarten. They need to know their colors. They need to know their shapes. They need to be able to count to 10 or 20. They need to be able to identify their letters and Personally, I really like my kids to know their letter sounds before entering kindergarten. They should be familiar with coloring and cutting and gluing. I usually try to make sure that my kids can write their name before entering kindergarten. And even though it's not a big focus for me, most of my kids have been able to sound out short words before entering kindergarten, words like cat or dog or dad. Some people will say that you need absolutely no formal schooling for kids this age, and I do not disagree with them. But personally, I do like to do a little bit, mainly just with those pre-reading skills. So that's really what I focus on, is working on them writing some letters and recognizing their letters. And that doesn't happen as naturally as learning colors or shapes. Those just kind of happen naturally, but sometimes you have to spend a little bit more time teaching them their letter sounds and their letter names. For developing those pre-reading skills, the very first thing that I do is we watch the Leapfrog Letter Factory DVD. Now I'm gonna post an affiliate link down in the comments so you can take a look at that. I think it's also free on the Roku channel right now if you wanna check that out and maybe on Netflix too, at least at the time of making this video. It is really my favorite thing. It doesn't teach every letter sound because letters like A say more than one sound, but it does give kids like the general view of what sounds the letters say, and it has been so helpful with all of my kids. I like to start with this book around the age of four. This is the Explode the Code series, and this is their primers. There are three. There is get ready for the code, get set for the code, and go for the code. And over the course of those three books, kids will learn all of their consonant sounds. They don't really touch on vowels. And what I really love about these books, uh, it doesn't just teach the sounds, it also teaches them to recognize the sounds. So you won't just learn that a D says duh, you'll be able to hear a word like dog and recognize that it starts with a D. Believe it or not, that's actually a challenging skill that not all kids will pick up naturally. So I really like it. It also does some coloring and some working on writing those letters. You can see where Clara has done some of this book. She likes to just color everything in. So we do, instead of circling, we do a lot of that. She's writing some Fs. Um, I really have loved these books with my kids. Clara is three and a half and we've just barely started this and I only really do it whenever she wants to. I also really like the book, Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. Now I have used this book with three kids, currently using it with number four, and this thing has been through the ringer. In fact, 
the cover just got pulled off of this book. I've used it a lot. Um, but this is what it looks like. There was an older cover too that's yellow, so sometimes you see that version, but the inside is exactly the same. This book teaches kids the mechanics of reading. So they will learn to move from left to right on the page. They learn to recognize the letter sounds and blend them together. Um, Clara right now can recognize the letter sounds, but she can't quite blend them together in a word. It's, it's too much to hold in her head at one time. This book teaches those mechanics. Now I will tell you, it is teach your child to read in 100 easy lessons. It is not teach your child to read in 100 fun lessons. It isn't a very fun book. And none of my kids have really enjoyed it, except for my seven-year-old who will still ask to read it. But it gets the job done. And by the time kids are done, they're reading on a first, second, maybe even a third grade level. And it's just really helped kind of kickstart my kids' journey into reading. It is not expensive. You can see the affiliate link in the comments. I highly recommend it. Even if you only get halfway through this book, your kid by, by about halfway through the book, they're able to read sentences like, I can kiss a cat, I can kiss a kitten. Can a cow kiss me? That's solidly kindergarten level. So highly recommend it. Now, the other thing that I want to share with you is something new that I've gotten this year. I have never used it with my other kids, but Clara super loves it. Now, I don't know if my boys would have loved it as much as she does, but she really loves it. She wants to do it all the time. And that is the Good and the Beautiful's pre-K program. You finished! Now for the whole set of the pre-K program, it is under $40. I think it's about 37. I'm gonna post the link in the comments as well. Right now, the Good and the Beautiful is sold out of a lot of things. If you go on their website, you may only be able to buy bits and pieces, but you can also download the PDFs and print them off at home if you'd rather. And it's not a huge book, so it wouldn't be too difficult to print off. But this book is a lot like Explode the Code in that it teaches letter sounds. It teaches you to write the letters. It goes less in depth than Explode the Code, but I feel like this is a good starting point for writing and recognizing those letters. See, Clara was able to draw a B by tracing the dots. She did great with that. There's cute little games and poetry in the book as well. I really like it. Besides this book, it also comes with a pre-writing book, which just teaches kids to move their pencil in particular ways, um, connecting the dots, tracing lines, doodling circles, all of those things that kids need to develop the mechanics of writing. I did it. Good job, Clara. It also came with these adorable letter flip books. And basically you match up the letters with their uppercase, lowercase, and the animal or symbol that matches. Clara really enjoyed these and this was getting her thinking about the sounds inside of words. So it's been fun to play that with her. So that's pretty much all the seat work I do, and I don't do it every day. I only do it when my preschooler wants to. I very rarely force them to sit down and do anything with me. Sometimes they see the older kids doing things and they want to participate as well, and then we pull it out and play with it together. I'm, I do a school book now. Aside from that, I can't express enough how important it is to have scissors around, glue, crayons, colorful construction paper, modeling clay, magnetic blocks, anything to start developing those fine motor skills, the play skills, and all of those little mechanical skills that kids need to learn. Just having lots of things available is really good, and these are not expensive. You can get them at Dollar Tree. You can find them used. Sometimes people will even give you stuff. Those are always awesome to have around to engage those creative juices that your preschoolers have. All of which have affiliate links in the description below. Using those affiliate links helps us to keep making videos. I think the very best thing that you can do for your preschooler, even if you don't get 
any type of workbook or anything. You don't do any sit down work with them. It's just to have a wonderful library in your home. Of course, even if you don't have space for books or a budget for books in your home, go to the library often and get high quality picture books that you can read together. Some of my favorites are Robert McCloskey, like Make Way for du Ducklings and Blueberries for Sal. I love Dr. Seuss, I love Curious George, I love Winnie the Pooh, Olivia, Eric Carl. There are so many great books for preschoolers and reading those books together, not only is it just a wonderful, sweet bonding time with your kid, but it really starts giving them those language skills they need to, to succeed a little later on. So here's the bottom line. For preschoolers, education happens best through play and exploration with a healthy dose of reading thrown in. That's all you need to do to educate your preschooler and to prepare them to enter grade school later on. If you have a resource that you have found and loved or you have a question for something that I use, please post it in the comments. I would love to read it. I would love to answer your questions. Make sure to check out the links in the comments. Some of them are affiliate links. Some of them link directly to different websites where the resources are that we have used. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can stay updated on all the latest content. Thanks.